What if I told you the single most important component of your drivetrain is your chain? A well-maintained chain will dramatically extend the life of some of the most expensive wear components on your bike, including that rear cassette and front chain ring. Don't believe me? Take it from the guy who brought one by drivetrains to market, Chris Hilton, drivetrain product manager from SRAM. Cool. Uh, and that, I, you know, what's the secret of drivetrain? Always, always, always clean and lube your chain. Okay, when you, when you say clean, how clean does it need wipe to be? Wipe it off. Okay. At the very least, wipe the dirt off. Clean and lube your chain, and your drivetrain will last a world longer. And, and it doesn't matter if it's our drivetrain or somebody. I don't care whose drivetrain it is. Just do it. So today I'm going to show you how to keep your chain running smoothly and save money by extending the life of your drivetrain. So let me preface this advice by saying your results will vary depending on your riding conditions and particular setup. And I'm sure most of you have a system that you've developed over time through trial and error. And that's exactly what I'm about to share with you today. Let's talk about the type of lubes available on the market. And I'm going to make this really simple and lump them into two categories. So the first group is what I'd call heavy lubes. And this may come in the form of both a wet lubricant such as this Dumontech or even a dry lube like this bottle of Squirt. So these lubes are good as base lubricants, which means you want to apply them when the chain is really clean. So heavy lubes are thicker, so you want to apply them one drop at a time and then wipe off the excess. So after just a few rides, I wipe my chain clean with a rag along with the pulley wheels and the chain ring. Now at this point when it comes time to reapplying lube, and this is very important, I never apply a heavy lube again. I found that this often leads to some pretty bad gunk, which is incredibly abrasive. So instead, I reach for one of these lightweight lubricants, which is really good at supplementing the base lube. So these are easy to identify, they're really thin, and can often leak out of the bottle as soon as you tilt it. Now most of these lightweight lubricants also include a solvent, which help clean the chain a little bit. So these can be applied liberally, so don't feel bad soaking it in there or wiping it down. It's also worth noting that virtually all of these lubes have a cure time, so make sure to let it dry for at least 12 hours before riding. When it comes time to do a full bike wash every month or so, that's when I'll fully degrease and brush the chain clean. At that point, I'll reapply a heavy base lube again and start the process all over again. Now this is also a perfect time to use one of those simple chain measuring tools to ensure that the wearer is still within spec. I'll typically replace the chain as soon as it reaches 0.5% stretch. All right, so in summary, start with the heavy lube when the chain is clean. After a few rides, wipe it down and reapply with a lightweight lube after every ride or every other ride, depending on the conditions. When the time comes to degrease and fully clean the chain, start the entire process all over again with the heavy lube. After much trial and error, I found this to be the best way to keep my drivetrain running clean, quiet, and shifting well. All right, guys, hope you found this video useful. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.